Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to do a review on the Maple Confidence Kindergarten Level. So about nine or 10 months ago, I did like a unboxing of the Maple Confidence um, first grade and I show only the workbook for the kindergarten level. So since we are at the end and we're like a week and a half away from finishing the whole curriculum for both kindergarten and first grade, I wanted to come do an updated review on how we have liked the curriculum, things I have not liked, the adjustments I've had to make, manipulatives that I'm using and things of that nature. So yeah, let's get into it. Um, if you have not watched my first video on like the unboxing and stuff like that, I'll just give you a brief overview of the curriculum, how it's set up and things of that nature. So, so first with Math Confidence, it is an amazing curriculum. Like it's super amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, there are some things that I'm not too fond of, but for the most part, I have enjoyed teaching it. My daughter have enjoyed learning it and yeah it's just so much fun so this curriculum comes with an instructor guide as well as a student workbook you can't use one without the other the meat and potatoes or all of the things that you need to use um the explanations the recommendations the books the manipulatives the activities the warm-ups all of that is in here and as you can see it's a pretty thick book um compared to the workbook right so for the kindergarten level um oh this is also like a four-day curriculum so you will see in this book it is a 32-week curriculum and designed to only do four days a week or however long you want to do it but it worked perfectly for us because initially i said i only want to do four day week a four-day homeschool week anyway but you know some days we only did three so that's that the first thing in this book they tell you how to use the book right so i'll probably insert some b-roll if i can of like what it looks like but they kind of tell you this is the type of contents hopefully you can see i don't want to do the extra work today um and it's not telling you how to use the book um and what's all covered right so it's units one through ten and covers week one through 32. so that's that um they also have a scope and sequence in this book as well as a list of math books that you can use for each week so each week depending on the topic that you're covering say you're covering you know count by tens or learning time or measuring or whatever the case may be they have a math books that you can check out um that you can read whatever the case may be they have the full list for you to either buy check out from the library or do youtube read aloud so that's amazing i love to incorporate like literature um with math it makes it fun it leads it into our everyday life so that was a plus and then they also have a list of materials so things you need for the whole curriculum um in the back as well and then they include um the pages that you would need for different lessons so most of them are tore out for me but like things like this like the double ten frame um as well as some tracing sheets you can tear these out <clears throat> and put them in a dry erase pocket or a sheet protector to reuse it or you can just print them off from the website um where you can print them off instead of having to use the workbook but that's that so i love that this curriculum is an open and go curriculum many days i don't prep or prepare for these lessons at all it's like okay bring me the workbook what are we talking about today but i will say that's not the smartest idea especially when you have multiple children that you're homeschooling but the lessons are just so, so short and so simple to the point where i just can prep you know with the book in my hand or like a few minutes beforehand so that's that so my overall review of the curriculum um i absolutely love the kindergarten curriculum because it really considers the attention span and the energy that kindergartners usually have so my daughter is four she will be five in two months so we started this curriculum last april she had just turned four and um it was perfect for her i thought it started off pretty slow because like with the workbook page in the beginning it started off with just um circle the ones right and it moved on to circling twos and matching one to three and so of course the beginning of any curriculum is going to be reviewed and just trying to see if the child actually knows so it started off pretty slow and i wasn't necessarily sure if you know it was a really good curriculum to, to be honest because if you just look at the workbook it's like my child knows this 
But in the Instructor Guide, it gives you all of the ideas, all of the things to talk about, um, to test for understanding and things of that nature. So say for instance, for two, um, it says to um, have your child go get two, two shoes. So like a pair. And it's like, I love that it incorporates um, weaving a math into your everyday life. So for each topic, each unit, it gives you ideas on how to take math outside of the curriculum and use it every day. So if you're talking about addition, um, when you're in the kitchen or when you are putting things in a bag at the grocery store, if you have two apples in there already, you can add two more, how much is that, right? So it give you like everyday application as opposed to just trying to master a workbook. I also love this curriculum because it takes no time. These lessons are designed to be done in 15 minutes or less. It usually takes us 10 to 20 minutes depending on what we have to do, how much review we have to do and all that and we are done. But I love that it incorporates things like movements, um, them having to jump, use their fingers and all of that. It also incorporates the parents with, of course, telling them what to do. And I felt like for me personally, it was a great way to bond with my four year old. Um, it was just me and her. Um, this one particular lesson where you had to learn about your left and your right hand, I had to trace her hands for her. And that was, it just brought so many smiles for her to do math. And I was like, she's enjoying it, I'm enjoying it. Like, I don't see an issue with it. So I love, love, love that. Um, I will say in terms of the books that they include, for you to read each week we did not read many of them and i didn't check out any book i didn't buy any book um i would do a youtube read aloud many of the books are old so the read alouds are very like blurry and they just have to listen to it so um you know we skipped many of those but in terms of the activities in general like i love it i enjoyed it i love how short they are like this morning before recording this video um i knocked out my daughter's lesson and she's covering time so we asked her Three questions. Um, how many jump and jets can you do in a minute? Um, how many times can you say the alphabet in a minute? And um, how many times can you write your name in a minute? And you gotta saw her doing her jump and jacks and say her ABCs. Like she was very competitive. Like she wanted to beat her guests, right? She had to guess first time she had to do and then she had to actually, I had to actually count how many she did. So it was so much fun for her. Um, and she was able to be up and edit like she usually is. As far as the curriculum, the thing that I dislike is the fact that you have to use so many index cards. Like I get it. After the first few lessons, I was like, how can I condense these index cards? I do understand that we want our children to practice their handwriting. So say for instance, if I write a set of one through 10, it asked my daughter to write her set of one through 10 and that's good for handwriting practice. But it's like, this is what I did, right? So I created a list of like a, some flashcards a while ago. They're on, available on my website. So say for instance, I use this list. If they wanted me to have her put the numbers in order from a one through 20. I would take the index cards I already had printed off um, and just have her do it that way. If we were at it and they told me to get the addition flashcards, I would take something like these um, clothes pants numbers that came from the dollar spot years ago. And I would have her use things like this to work on her fine motor skills. So these were all my homeschool for a while and we had no use for them honestly. Besides we just buying them because I thought we could use them. But I recently started to incorporate these more instead of her having to write out an index card or look for an index card. Um, we would use these clothes pants or we will also use these erasers that also came from the dollar spot a few years ago. So if I tell her to write five plus three equals whatever the case may be. Some days we can alternate and she could just find the eraser that I want her to use. Like this is a five, right? Five plus three, right? So I would just find different ways to make it more interesting for her. So five plus three, you can't really see it, but using things like erasers, um, numbers from number puzzles, um, magnetic numbers, um things of that nature like you can switch it up like i wanted to keep it entertaining and fun for her so we tried different things so as far as using the tempering my daughter she enjoyed it but she was kind of bored of using it so she went with using her fingers sometimes and they also enjoyed this little rican rick or whatever it's called i don't really know what it's called but it was a great way for her to visualize um the numbers instead of her having to do with the counters. I also want to mention that with the 10 frame, like if you order from Rainbow Resource, they'll tell you to order these counters. 
And the counters are fine, but they are bigger than the actual boxes on the page. So we didn't really use these in terms of counters. We use some um, erasers. So these right here um, are some more that we have from the Target Dollar Spot. Recently, I don't know why I'm trying to show y'all, but here are a few that we use um, inside of the tin frame instead of the actual um, counters. So we did use the counter sometime, but they were too big. so. We'll use the math cubes and bring me the math cubes. We'll use the math cubes or some erasers that we had or something else that was very small. So that was another adjustment I made. And I also um, pulled out these little flashcards um, in terms of like numbers and things of that nature. So if I didn't use like stuff I had printed out and made myself, I would use these flashcards we had. I also use game cards. Um, Jensen has an alternative because those those index cards from the kindergarten level to the first grade level it was so many and i'm like mm, it's too much so let's condense it but here's the 10 frame that i was talking about and i'm gonna show you like or try to show you like um the size so here's the one of the boxes and this is like over the line um that you can see it but yeah so we just found an alternative method we love the um, map cues from Learning Resources. So we use these a whole lot in place on the tin frame because these can definitely fit inside with no issue. So we use those. And um, I wanna say that's all of the adjustments that I made for the curriculum. Something I did appreciate for every um, workbook page they had was some tracing practice for numbers. It wasn't too much, it was, just five numbers on the top of the page. Sometimes it was the same number on each page and then sometimes it was a different number. And I did appreciate that because it helped with number recognition for one, it helps with handwriting practice. So it started off with um, the dot to show them how to make the number. And then over time, it was just, they had to do it on their own. So I did appreciate that. For some lessons, it was skip counting. For some lessons, it was random numbers. For some lessons, it was in the sequence, like the 20s, um, all the way up to 100. So I really enjoyed this curriculum, y'all. It was so fun. We're not all the way done, but just from the all the time that we put in and all the work we've done, my daughter is really good at math. Um, she does a lot of mental math at her age and is very impressive because I can ask her questions and she can give me an answer without using counters, without using the yeah. frame, yeah, and she's quick with it. So I'm like, all praises for that, that this is building her a good foundation, conceptual foundation. Um, I also love, this is, yeah, I'm all over the place, but I also love that it incorporates things in your house. So for a lot of the um, warm-up activities before the workbook page, they would say get things like cups or books or bears or toys or, um, spoons straws um that's all i can think of right now but it was like household items that you use you can use things like crackers or snacks so i love how accessible it was you didn't have to spend like an arm and leg on manipulatives and things that you didn't have at your home and even in this this instructor guide if you didn't have the manipulatives so say for instance the pattern blocks they have ones that you can actually put out Although it's recommended, can you see? Although it's recommended that you get the actual pattern blocks, like if you just couldn't afford it or you didn't have, um, didn't order it, like when you got started, there are alternative ways to do it. And for me, with curriculum, I don't follow it like every single page, every single activity, every single whatever, as far as pacing either, because there were days where we doubled up on lessons because it was something she already knew. There were days where we kind of like completely like just brushed over some warm activities because she mastered those things. So it's like with curriculum, you find a way to incorporate it um, the best way for your child, the best way for your style of teaching. It's just like if your child does not like to use a tin frame, you can do an alternative with something like this or other methods that you know that we enjoy um, to help them, right? Some children don't like to use counters, my first grade don't. So I had to find different ways to help her without, you know, overwhelming her with counters. But overall, I absolutely love this curriculum. I think I only paid like what, maybe $30 for both the instructor guide and the, um, the workbook. And I ordered from Rainbow Resource. They usually have the best deal 
um, based on what I've seen. So hopefully this was a good review and help y'all in terms of like wanting to know whether it's a good curriculum. I love how the children have to be active. Um, the lessons are very short and to the point. It's a conceptual knowledge. Most of the work is done like around your home and not in the workbook. The workbook page, I don't think I mentioned that, but it's only one page per lesson. So like, um, this is towards the back, like, but for every lesson, it's only one page. So it's not the front and the back, it's only one page. This will be that. The next day will be this page, right? So I appreciate that it's not a lot of heavy um, work with page because they can't overwhelm a child, especially if they're not good with like writing yet, or they're not, you know, especially if they're starting out younger and they have to do like a lot of writing, a lot of problems that could be discouraging to them, or it could be like, you know, I don't want to do it because I don't feel like writing. And if that's the case, like you can definitely alternate. So some days I will write for my daughter. She just give me the correct answer just to switch things up and just to keep her like from being overwhelmed. Um, because I do want learning to be fun and I want it to be um, engaging and encouraging, right? So I think that's all I have for the actual like review. I love it. Um, I think the pace at which it goes is great. It started off very slow, but I understand now why it started out slow and the relationship that they need to build in order to build on some more advanced um, math. So I appreciate this curriculum because it has definitely taught me a lot about the relationship with numbers and things of that nature. It has given me great ideas to incorporate um, and share with other homeschool moms um, and even ideas to do outside of like our curriculum time because this takes what? 10 to 20 minutes a day like we still have the rest of the day we still have like weekends we have days where we are not homeschooling we take breaks so i just appreciate um how simple it is um how low prep it is um and just overall like how good it is like it's working for us my daughter loves math um my both i have two girls so if you're new here i have a six-year-old and a four-year-old and they always are racing on can i do my math first can i do my math first so it's working they're wanting to do it they're not like i don't want to do math i don't like math they're always talking about i'm good at math or i'm doing hard math now so as you can tell i'm a huge fan i am recommended to people who are looking for things that encourage their children to you have to be engaged with them but it's also incorporate movement like i don't want my children to sit down and having to focus on a lot of a sheet of problems um not at this age anyway but it has worked for us so if you have any questions or anything specific that you want me to go a little more deeper into um let me know i will try to insert a flip through of the pages if you want to do um to see like the progression of the work page and then for the other things you probably can check out my other video but that's all i have for the kindergarten look y'all so we are about to place our order for the first grade um student workbook because i already have the instructor guide but um i'm excited i'm not sure if we're going to take a break first or if we're just going to go right into it after we finish um you know we homeschool year round so it's not a big deal for us and even then we started this last year in at the end of april so the first day was april 21st and we took so many breaks y'all like some days we took weeks off um some some weeks we only did three days a week so we've been going very slow this curriculum but we are finishing up in this february so uh thanks for that and yeah if you guys if you guys have any questions or want like more in detail maybe you want to see us do a lesson whatever case may be just let me know in the comments and as always i'll see you guys in my next video